A National Historic Site in Troy is making progress toward reopening after a car crashed into the building back in 2020. News 10's Skylar Eagle shedding light on the progress and has the latest on when the site will reopen. The Kate Mullaney House in Troy making strides towards reopening. The National Historic Site was damaged when a car crashed into the building in 2020, interrupting long-term restoration efforts. The damage was down there on the first floor. The car came off Hoosick Street and went right into the back door on the first floor and smashed it all in. It's just recently been pretty much fully restored. Kate Mullaney was an Irish immigrant and pioneer of the labor rights movement, organizing the first all-female labor union, the Color Laundry Union, after facing brutal working conditions in Troy. She led a successful six-day strike to increase wages and improve working conditions in 1864, leading her to be the first woman appointed to a National Labor Union's uh, office. And that's, that's when she went on strike. Right there. Congressman Paul Tonko toured the historic site today, speaking about a resolution he put forward in the House of Representatives to honor Mulaney and her contributions to the American labor movement during Women's History Month, echoing her work in the labor equality movement that continues today. It just reminds us of what she did to fight for 19th century women in the workforce. And uh, the fight continues. Uh, surprisingly and painfully, we are still not on par for women. The site is expected to reopen in the coming months. I hope people will be inspired by the fact that this can, this can be you too. Women were much more involved in the cultural development of a prosperous city like Troy than most people realize. Reporting in Troy, Skyther Eagle News 10, ABC.